All right, guys, so we have the kitchen left, and I'll probably just do a quick before and after with the kitchen. Um, I had to come outside and breathe. Like, my eyes are... Look. I'm using so many chemicals that... I don't know. Just, just keep praying for me. <laughs> All I smell is bleach. All I smell is bleach. <laughs> Anyway, I just wanted to take a quick breather. I, I washed myself up a bit and changed my shirt. Oh, Jesus. The blood of Jesus. All right, real quick, guys. Hallelujah. Just before we do this kitchen and get home, let's pray for people with mental health. Because as you see in there, mental health is no joke. Let's pray for people that's um, under depression and stress and anxiety and, and uncertainty. All right, draw your minds in, hallelujah, Jesus. Lord God, we just want to thank and honor you, Lord God, for another day of life. We want to thank you, Lord God, hallelujah, Jesus, for all that you're doing in our lives, Lord God. We want to thank you, Lord God, for your grace, for your mercy. We want to thank you for your goodness, Lord God, hallelujah, Jesus. We want to thank you, Lord God, for providing for us each and every day, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God, for your patience, for your love, Lord God, hallelujah, Jesus. Lord God, hallelujah, Jesus. As you see, as we clean, Lord God, as we reset this home, Lord God, as we bring healing to this home, Lord God, hallelujah, Jesus. As we leave your sweet aroma behind, Lord God, hallelujah, Jesus. We're asking, Lord God, hallelujah, Jesus, that the new family, Lord God, that they settle in, okay, Lord God. Lord God, give rest to the land, Lord, Lord God, and let her be able to fix the things and complete her tasks, Lord God, and get this home ready for the next family, Lord God. Oh God, put a hedge of protection, Lord God, to the family that's going to move in, Lord God. Lord God, hallelujah, Jesus, and the one who moved out, the ones who moved out, Lord God, that was under the stress, the depression, Lord God, the mental health issues, Lord God, hallelujah, Jesus. Lord God, bless them and keep them, Lord God. Heal their minds, Lord God. Heal their hearts, Lord God. Draw them to you, Lord God. Let something somebody say, something somebody do, Lord God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Draw them to you, Lord God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Address the issues, Lord God. Any underlying issues, any health concerns, Lord God, that may be enabling them, Lord God, to get up and clean correctly, to get up and live, hallelujah, Jesus, a peaceful life, Lord God. Help them, Lord God, when they go to their next environment, Lord God. Do not keep them in bondage Lord God, hallelujah, Jesus. Oh God, hallelujah, Jesus. Everybody that's under the sound of my voice, Lord God, that may be dealing with mental issues, that may be dealing with, hallelujah, Jesus, stress, depression, Lord God, hallelujah, Jesus, that may be in a dark space right now, that may be, hallelujah, Jesus, be dealing with elements, Lord God, in their body, Lord God, hallelujah, Jesus. Oh God, address their needs, Lord God. Oh, God, meet them where they at, Lord God. Hallelujah, Jesus. And if it's a desert place, Lord God, that they must travel through, Lord God, be with them through the desert, Lord God. Be their source of water, Lord God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Whatever lesson they need to learn, Lord God, during this portion of their season that they're in, Lord God, may they learn it, Lord God. Hallelujah, Jesus, so it can draw them closer to you, Lord God, closer to the purpose that they have here on earth, Lord God. Oh, God, hallelujah, Jesus, help us, Lord. Help us do better. Help us want more for our lives, Lord God. You said the kingdom of heaven is at hand. You said that peace and prosperity is here on earth, Lord God. So help us obey and be obedient to your voice as we continue to move forward, Lord God. Help us not, Lord God, keep going around in circles, Lord God. Hallelujah, Jesus. But move us beyond that circle, Lord God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Move us beyond the thoughts, Lord God. The thoughts that's keeping us stagnant, Lord God. The thoughts that's keeping us in bondage. Lord Help God. us, Lord God. Help us, Lord God. Help us do better. Help us strive for more. Oh God, hallelujah, Jesus. Again, I want to just thank you, Lord God, for allowing me to serve this home, Lord God. I want to thank you, Lord God, for giving me the ability, Lord God, to clean it, Lord God. I want to thank you, Lord God, for giving me the drive and the strap and the stamina. Thank you. Thank you, Lord God, for keeping me in a positive mindset as I clean this hole. Please help those, Lord God, that are, uh, that are hoarding. 
hard and dazed. Help your people. Lord God, we need you. We want you. We honor you. Help us. Help us. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God, for listening. Thank you. All right, guys, we got to get back in here and um, finish this kitchen up. As you know, like I said, the, the gentleman that was living here, he fell under a serious depression and he just let his life go. And um, it's, I just want everybody to know that mental health, um, depression, or stress, all of that stuff is real. And that's why we need Jesus. That's why we need to stay close to God because when we focus on things of this world when we focus on our depression our stress and we focus on what's going wrong generally more things continue to go wrong but when we keep our eyes on jesus when we keep our eyes on god and continue to walk towards him that's when everything starts to pick up and you begin to see light again i just want someone out there to know that that dark area is not going to last for long. You will see light again. I promise you, you will see light again.